The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com. It is no secret that the hulls of Formula boats have a shiny, high-gloss mirror-like finish that are the envy of nearly everyone on the water. That is not an optical illusion. They are some of the best-looking finishes on the market because what you are seeing is not normal gel coat or even highly polished gel coat. Rather, it is paint, and these boats are finished much the same way as our luxury cars. In fact, some would say that the formula painting process is even more sophisticated. We went to the formula factory in Decatur, Indiana to find out more about the process. There we found John Adams, longtime exclusive designer for formula boats. We asked him why Formula started painting its holes in the first place. Well, the painting process at Formula here actually started back in probably the late 80s when we had the opportunity of producing what I would call offshore high performance boats, and they require special graphics, as we all know. So we had to quickly learn how to do that. And that's over the years actually evolved to where we actually provide that on all our boats. And again, the commitment of Formula to be able to paint our boats, it's been very critical and very important to our overall image of the company. We've invested dearly in the opportunity to provide that to our customers. For example, we have probably eight spray booths, which we use to paint our boats. It's a very time consuming and a very heavy commitment financially to be able to do that. Plus over the years, we've been able to train people to do some very exotic things. And again, because of fast tech, where obviously graphics are very, very important, we've been able to develop those techniques and apply them to our PCs, our sun sports and our super sports. We asked John why paint was better than the standard gel coat that the rest of the industry uses. Well, the advantages of paint over a gel coat are obviously quite visible. If you take a look at boats that are several years old, obviously the gel coat fades over time. That doesn't mean you can't buff them back to some original character, although with the painting process, you never have to do that. And we can get metallics, we can get that deep, deep character of paint that you would see in a very high-end automobile, for example, and we can certainly achieve that in paint. Plus the flexibility of colors and the variety of colors. And again, because of the Formula Flex process or opportunity, again, we can take advantage of that and create a lot of really great graphic packages for our clients. Formula applies three separate coats of Emron polyurethane clear coat over the paint. But why? Well, the Enron clear coat process is really superior to gel coat in that it has UV inhibitors in it, it doesn't oxidize, it's repairable, and again, the real aesthetic advantage of the clear coat is that the depth of color that you get that you would see perhaps in a very high-end automotive product. So it's certainly superior both aesthetically and functionally. At one time, Formula offered only a few basic colors in paint, but now they offer any one of thousands of Pantone colors. We asked John why. The need to offer more colors than we have in the past is basically trend-driven. You know, we're seeing just more colors that people enjoy, they want to see on their boats. And again, because of our process and our commitment to the painting process with the number of spray booths we have and the talent of the people that we have painting our boats, we were able to really expand that offering. And again, it's just something that we think it's very important with our image and the fact that we want to differentiate ourselves from our competition by providing a vast variety of colors. Formula's hull painting process is actually a 32-step program divided into three main parts, each of which requires skilled shop floor personnel, just 18 men and women who specialize in creating the finish that sets Formula boats apart. Phase one is the taping and masking part of the operation. All lines must be absolutely straight and true. Graphics are created on specially made tape masts, which are carefully applied. Phase two takes place in one of Formula's eight dedicated spray painting booths. And the Formula plant in Decatur, Indiana is the only boat building factory on the planet that has anything like it. Chromacolor paint is carefully mixed and then sprayed on by two technicians at the same time, one painting on the starboard side one on the port. After drying, masking comes off and more goes on to create other colors and other graphics. This process may be repeated four or five times until the colors are all applied. Phase three is the sanding, resanding, then compounding and buffing process. 3,000 grit sandpaper is used on orbital hand sanders and then more 
compounding paste is applied and buffed out. This process is repeated again and again, and more time is actually budgeted for this phase of the operation than any of the other two. This is the process that brings out the deep, rich colors that John Adams referred to. The result is a finish that is glossy, rich, and with an apparent depth that one can see only in fine cloisonne. For Botest.com, I'm Jeff Hammond reporting.